Hi, my name is Roxanne Wright, and today I'm going to show you how to make an invitation for a bachelorette party or a, a sorority party that looks like this. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go to File, New, and you can make it whatever size you want. I'm doing a square because I like the way it looks, but you can do a 5x7 so it's a little easier to mail, or 4x6 will also work. And I'm going to set my resolution to 300, and push OK. Now I'm going to go to File and Place, and I'm going to insert my zebra pattern, which I have for download right below this video. So Place, and now I'm going to move it up and push Shift and pull down the corners. And I hold Shift because it allows you to get a proportional expansion of an image without stretching it or pulling it. So, once you've got it to the size of your canvas, you'll push this check mark up here. The next thing you're going to do is you want to make sure that your rulers are turned on, and you can do that by pushing Command or Control if you're on a PC, R. Or you can go to View and turn on rulers, just make sure it's checked next to it. And you're going to want to mark it at the halfway point of your invitation. The next thing you're going to do is add a new layer down here at the bottom. And then go over here to your left and click on the rectangle tool. Now, you can go to any point on your image, but I always go up here to the top left and push shift on your keyboard and make square. Now if you you did a rectangle size, you don't need to hold shift, you can just estimate. And your rulers, you want to make sure that your text is perfect, or your square, sorry, is perfectly in the middle. And just make sure these boxes have the line intersecting it. Alright? Now you can clear your guides, go to view, clear guides and then your lines go away. Now for this the white with the black and white kind of bleeds in together so you'll need something to make it stand out a little more. So you'll come down here and click the effects button and then push stroke. And then I want to do like a nice electric blue. Let me find one. About right there. And I'll push OK. And you can see it here. This is the three pixel version. I'm going to go for about six pixels. And I'm going to push OK. So, for the next part, you're going to want to put your friend's name or whoever you're throwing the party for. Or if you're a sorority, the name of your sorority. And I'm just going to grab the text I already have. So I used HoneyScript, which I've also included below, and I put it right here. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so there's a big emphasis on the name. Stick it about right in the middle, and then you can put on whatever text you want for this. I grabbed this from a wedding website, so it's not the best, but I am not a good writer, so. Now you just click in the middle and paste it in. The font I used for this is Century Gothic, but you can use any font you want. I found Baskerville also looks pretty good. But I like sans serifs, so I'm going to leave it right here. And that's it. Um, I've included the template file, so if you're lazy and don't want to do it yourself, you can just edit this. You can change the colors and do whatever you want. Alright, thanks for watching.